Hello everyone, this is uh, Tsi Gong again. Today we're going to talk about the sitting cultivation. So a lot of people ask me about meditation and stuff all the time, but people don't really understand what this thing is about. And so I will say, no, we don't do it. <laughs> Because most of the time, people just think you just sit there and then you start to feel stuff here and there and uh, that meditation, okay, well, basically it's not and it's not a way to relax yourself, okay? Remember, relax is a symptom, okay? You feel relaxed, okay? You feel relaxed. Relax is like the, the end result, right? It's a symptom of what surfaced out to for, for you to relax, but what is the main goal? Like, what is actually going on? You don't just relax, okay? For example, you sleep and you feel relaxed. But relax is just the feeling in the middle. The main thing about sleeping uh, is to really let your body rest. And then so that it can generate new energy for you to use the next day, right? Or after you, uh, you wake up. So you don't just relax <laughs> the whole night, right? Relax is a symptom, right? It's not, it's not a, a, a goal, right? So you cannot say meditating is to relax. Now, today I'm going to teach you uh, something that is similar to the look of what meditating uh, usually <laughs> you see out there, which is a sitting cultivation. But what we're doing here is to cultivate loy tan, the internal uh, Archimi, the whatever you want to call it in English, okay, but that's how it is. Uh, called Loi Tan, it's like a condensed pill, okay. Now this pill is not a physical pill. This is a metaphor. It means to gather up things into yourself and con condense it. One very uh, dangerously wrong concept most Westerner all have. Because of the bullshit qigong out there. You all think that you are like a air tank or rocket. And all you need to do is to accumulate more qi into yourself. Which is the really nonsense. And a lot of people have been like looking at qigong books and DVDs out there and websites. They all talk about the same thing. Gather up and take in energy from nature and the cosmic whatever crap. Okay, you... You gather up things into yourself. And you. the main thing is like, this is like a video game, okay? You keep upgrading, uh, gather up more, more, and more. And basically what you, you what these so-called Qigong is going toward is the, the path of being a vampire. Because you are no different from a vampire sucking the life out of everything around you. Because all you need is to get stronger, bigger, more, like, wow, eat, 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 you big, big, right? That's what you want to do, okay? Well, that's not the real Qigong, and it's not the real uh, Loi Dan as well, okay? Not the real uh, Loi Gong. In nature, you can see the pattern, okay? How does we, the physical body, grow? How, how, how do we grow? Um, well, we eat every day, right? We eat, we drink, uh, we eat solid food and we drink or, or consume liquid stuff. Okay, solid food, we categorize them as things that have essence. Okay, essence. It's like the cell or whatever you want to call it, but it's like essence. Okay, they are, they are visible, solid in the category of what we call a zhan yun. Okay, they have power of life. Now we consume these uh, solids, and then in the same at the same time you have to drink, eat, and drink always come together. Drink is liquid, always water based, oil based, all that stuff. Okay, whatever it is, it must contain some water because it has to have water in order to be liquid. Water contains, like in this world, okay, contains chi, hay air okay inside and because you drink the water you you put the air that's the hay into yourself inside okay now this is the physical 
uh, aspect of things, okay? So you get the physical air inside. And we all know we have uh, air, water inside our body, right? Okay. So that's basically the science part of it, okay? The physical world kind of uh, pattern. That's how it works, that we consume. We consume two things. One, we categorize as the yang property, which is the uh, the solid. And then there's the yin property, the yum uh, property, which is the liquid. The yang property gives you stuff. The, the yin property uh, help you digest the stuff, okay? Like, how do I say it? In English, how do you say that? Uh, okay, let's say we have things, okay? And then there are stuff that will destroy the things, okay? So, <laughs> okay, so the solid are the things, right? Like like something you can touch, hold on to, solid, okay? You put solid into yourself. You must have something non-solid to combine with it in order to shove it down your system. You cannot just put this into your mouth and expect to swallow it and it will digest. You will boop, boop, <laughs> like that, okay? So you have to drink something, right? In our nature principle, the theory in in, uh, in Tao's magic, it's like this. There's always the solid, the zhan yun, okay? The essence. The essence itself is in the category of what we call D1, okay, dimension one. It is uh, not moving. It is um, it is in the form what we call light. Not light as in like a flashlight, but more like uh, it, it, uh, something you can see, okay, light. Now, the second category is like the water. Okay? It's the category of non-solid, the hay category, the, the chi, the air, energy kind of stuff, okay? Now, the first property, the light, itself doesn't move, okay? Now, the property of air, the hay, move, but it doesn't have anything inside, okay? That is how we categorize the two different types of stuff, okay? So, one is like you have stuff, but it doesn't move. The other thing is you don't have anything, but it moves, okay? It's like wind, uh, air. It's it just empty, but... It's not nothing in there. There is something. There is air inside, okay? So there's always two things. You put something solid into a an environment that is with air around it. The air pushes the thing around, okay? Just like dust, a uh, piece of paper. You throw it outside. Outside is filled with air. It's not nothing. It's, it, there's something inside here, right? This is air inside. When you move, you feel air move, and that is why you have wind, right? So... You put something up here, and then the air will push it around, okay? Now, inside your body, inside the system, it's the same thing. You drink, you consume. These energy uh, from the water, okay, the, 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 the hay in the water, act like the wind. It pushes the solid stuff around and breaks it up inside, helps your system to run and breaks it up. And there are different kinds of, liquid inside your body that helps you digest, absorb, uh, break down elements and all that stuff until everything become the same shit and the shit pooped out of your body. You have to look at your body like there's a world inside. Okay, This is the universe inside. Now, when something out of this universe go into the body, it processes with the uh, non-solid type of stuff, the wind type of stuff, the energy type of stuff. Okay, you process and then you consume, digest, break down those solid stuff that enter. And at the end, you will come out with the same uh, type of stuff, which is your waste, the poop that come out and it come out to this world again. That is how life works. And because your system keeps on running, you grow bigger, more muscle, uh, bone get denser. It depends what you eat. If you eat garbage every day, you're not going to grow very nicely. You're not going to grow healthy. But if you eat things that your body likes, okay, and a balanced diet, a nice diet, okay, you will grow nicely. And, of course, you have to eat with a disciplined schedule, uh, 
you know, whatever it is, okay, think about the logical stuff. Um, so when you eat properly, okay, simple like that. When you eat properly, you can, um, you, you can have better growth with your whole system, okay? And you, and you get stronger, bigger, in a nicer way, not just fat, okay? Now, can we, in this world, just eat and eat and eat and then get stronger? That is basically the problem with the Qigong outside all the time. They always emphasize on getting qi into your system, okay? It's like always sucking in stuff. It's just like human. You always only eat. That doesn't work. You need to use up the stuff that you ate by burning it off. We all know, right? Do exercise. You burn off the energy inside. Well, yeah, you create energy uh, by consuming essence, the food, okay? You create energy inside. The energy stays inside and is reserved like a, uh, like, like a car with the gasoline inside the tank. Now you've got the gasoline, right? You cannot keep filling in gasoline every day and expect your car to be very powerful, right? You need to use the car, burn up that gasoline for the car to expose its power so that you can use the car, utilize the car, and see the power come out of it, okay? Now, human is not a dead object. We don't keep wearing down. Uh, we actually do grow. Uh, as you eat better and stuff, okay? So if you look at yourself, uh, when you're uh, a kid, right? You keep growing. But if you don't eat properly, you don't grow properly. So you need to eat properly. Not like junk food, candies all the time. You need to eat properly, okay? If you eat not properly, either you get too fat um, or you get too skinny or you're not going to grow big enough, okay? Something like that. And it ends up with a weak body when you're uh, an adult. So, in nature, we all know that you need to eat and you need to give up something. You need to expose the power, burn off the energy that you created inside, okay? And then it cycles, cycle back, right? After you work out and sweat and all that stuff, right? Your inside, the stuff inside you came out. And because of that, it cycled back to you again. And now you can eat again. And then while you keep doing that back and forth, you will get stronger. You will get bigger. Bigger capacity, stronger uh, potential power that can come out of you. A lot of good things will happen, right? That is the pattern of nature. You cannot just talk about, oh, I want to consume, take in, take in energy, gather up energy, gather up energy. You know, all the crazy people keep thinking you should just do that. That is vampire, okay? You only want to take, 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 take. No, we don't, okay? We have to, we have to use it up. Use it up. Give it. Now, where do I use up my energy while I'm doing all these things? Well, you will, okay? Later on, you'll understand more. But with the magic cultivation right now, you already know. With the altar, for example, okay? That is our, like, the gym equipment, okay? Every day, you take your incense, you, you channel in energy from the lineage, it goes into you, and you stomp your spell, energy come out of you, go into the incense, and go here. Every day, we pump out our own energy, and the energy from the lineage. Every day, we do that, and put it in the altar. The altar later on circulate back out, and we benefit from the altar as well. Like, when we drink food and do other work to cultivate with the altar, we consume it back. Okay, and then the cycle just continued, right? So we always burn off our stuff while we consume, okay? Now, the theory of Loi Dan, uh, internal autonomy, is to do this, okay? Um, what we're doing, what we are doing is to take energy from somewhere, okay? Now, this somewhere can change, okay? But I'm just taking the pattern from somewhere, outside of your body. You channel that thing into your body, okay? And your system processes it, pump it back out, okay? And then we don't let this energy just vent off somewhere. We let it pump out and then go back to ourselves, and then we hold on to it and let it gather up, accumulate into a denser form. And then later on, after we're done, we take this dense 
form of energy and put it inside ourselves. Now, this concept, okay, it's like you keep gathering up more and more cotton, more and more uh, feathers, okay, and then you pack them up into a, a little ball, and it get very like the soft little particles or the feather. They get very dense into one thing, and then we put that dense condensed stuff in back into your system, and then what do you do? You put it there, and then you let your system digest it. You don't just store that thing inside yourself and then, oh, I'm so powerful. I got this chi ball inside my gut. It's not like that. Okay, You let your body digest it. It's like this is food. This is a piece of chicken. You digest it. Now, what are you doing? Well, instead of eating a bit of this, a bit of this, a bit of this, a bit of this, now what we're eating is like, it's a pill. We take the chicken, we take the veggie, we take this and that, we blend it together in the machine. Now what what, what happened? It became a uh, a liquid paste kind of thing, right? You know, those uh, the diet people, they always like to take a blender and blend everything inside, okay? All the nutritious stuff inside and make it drink, right? Now, you, it's like that, but we make this into a powderized, uh, drink or gas form, okay? Something like that. Metaphor, right? And then we pack it up into a condensed form, a pill-like form. And we put the thing inside a capsule and then we consume it, okay? This capsule enters your body, right? And your body do what? Your body then digests it automatically. It absorbs that powerful pill, that you just created with the chicken, with the veggie, and all that stuff blend together, right? You consume it, and now your body, it's going to slowly absorb to every part of your body, in your energy body and your physical body. It's going to absorb. You cannot control how your body absorbs things, okay? Even with food, you cannot. But the body will do its work to to suck in and absorb here and there to whatever place it needs that energy, it will absorb it, okay? And you can say you're consuming a form of fortified food, okay? But this food is not from like chicken, veggie, carrot, that kind of stuff. This is food created by pre-heaven energy from some kind of source, okay? Somewhere that you're connected that you can get that thing in. Now, as I said, the source of where you get your ingredient to build this pill can vary, okay? So even we are doing the same exercise to, like what we're doing is just take this, take this, take this, blend, and then eat it, okay? But what are you taking and where are you taking make a big difference. You can be, okay, let's say you're buying all the food ingredient from a dollar store versus a fancy um, grocery store that sells quality food, okay? And then maybe you're buying from an outlet, some fresh farm, something like that. The result is different because of where you take from, okay? Now, not everyone can get access to a certain uh, source of energy, right? So a normal person without ordaining into the lineage, all you can do is to get the pre-heaven energy from your own house, the surrounding energy. That's it. Maybe you can go into the forest or whatever it is, okay? But it's pretty crazy because you're trying to hunt for energy. That's why you need to travel here and there and there just to do this blending, okay? Because why? Because you don't have a grocery store. That's why you have to go into the wild to pick your berries and then go to that forest to hunt a deer. And then you have to go to here to pick a banana. And then you have to go to here to harvest your salt. That is basically why people have to travel around and go into the wild to cultivate those so-called Taoism in the ancient time. Because there is no good energy in the local living place. You have to go here and here and here to get different things together to blend your little 
magic pill, right? So the smart people will not stay home and then just, you know, I give up, all right? What the smart people does is, well, they get a, a little team going, build a, build a company, and then they say, okay, we will be hunting for deers here and this and this month, and then we'll gather it. And then there will be people picking fruit and growing fruits from whatever, and then they'll gather it. And then here will be some people like mining for salt and stuff, and they will gather it. Okay. Now all those stuff come together and put together in this supermarket. Now, everyone who is part of the company can have access to this supermarket, super grocery store. All the ingredients you need is here because we already harvested the stuff for you. That's basically what you need because it's harvested, it's cultivated, it's cleaned, it's quality, it's sorted out. Why do you have to go to the wild, the forest to get your your ingredient when you can have this kind of privilege. No one would do it. All you need to do is keep using up in the supermarket and then re and then invest into the supermarket to keep it running. That's all you need to do as a member of the supermarket. Okay, so basically referring to our lineage, we we have a lineage power source, power bank. Okay? The lineage the fat map. The lineage has its own um, power, like the energy uh, resources, okay? And they're cultivated. They are purified. They are stuff that you can get to do your magic, to do your cultivation and stuff. Well, you may be thinking, but how can we just keep thinking? Well, yeah, you, you cannot, okay? So that's why you give back. You conclude, you give back. And... By the time you learn more and more, you will do other magic stuff to help the lineage to harvest more as well. But before you can do it, right, you can already ordain and get the access to this pool of resources. So all you need to do is know your heart spells uh, that connect you to the lineage power source, okay, the pool of energy. And then learn the sun cut, the, the movement to operate that power spell. And then you channel in the energy. That's where the energy come from. Okay? Basically, this is where the energy come from. It's harvested already. And because of that, you have no time restriction, no location restriction. Meaning that you don't need to see the sun in order to get energy from the sun. Okay? Because it's already harvested. Just like our solar panel. Okay? You don't have energy from the sun. Then you cannot... Use that energy to power up something. But we have solar panel. We suck in the stuff and then store that into a battery. Now you have the battery. You have the electronic. You can plug it in anytime you like. Even if there's no sun, you still can use the power of the sun. You get the idea? The stupid ones, the cavemen people, will always look at people who only work when there's sun outside. The smart people will know how to reserve energy contain it into a little battery. Later on, you can use it when there's no sun. Then we get more efficient, right? And make more sense. Basically, that is why you need to ordain into a Talus lineage, or you say our lineage, because every lineage <laughs> have their own pool of wisdom, knowledge, uh, their power, the stuff that is cultivated, energy that is cultivated, which is not accessible by people outside of the lineage. You can only access it when you get ordained. Because the whole thing about ordained is to hook you up into this lineage thing. Okay, so you're part of the system. Being part of the, the, the family, the system, allows you to get access to, to take, and also get access to it in order to give back, to contribute, to make keep it growing. So it's a win-win thing, okay? And that is the reason why you must ordain to cultivate Loitan. If you don't, then there will be a big problem because you cannot get access to clean energy. Okay? Maybe you can go here and there to harvest energy, but it, it's stupid. Okay? It's like you, it takes you three months to gather up the ingredient for just a meal for two people. Okay? Because it's so hard. You need to go all the way there to take energy 
uh, and then all the way there to take some kind of energy, all the way there, you know, travel around. It's stupid, okay? In this modern day, if you're still going, thinking about living in a cave and stuff in the forest, back to nature, okay, to, to cultivate, that is insanely stupid because you're walking backward, okay? What you're supposed to do is to take stuff from nature, gather it up into this nice resource pool, and we can use it while we're in a, our home, not to go all the way out to harvest for salt, or all the way out, okay? If you think that you should be, you know, I need salt, let's go to the beach today, okay? That's crazy, okay? Basically, that's how it goes. Now, um, last part of the video is to get you on a little cultivation with Loy Tan practice, okay? Um, a breathing that you need to uh, under, uh, not understand, to, to remember, okay? We call this the basic, the basic breathing of 515. 515, we call this uh, uh, breathing. One one of our uh, Qigong breathing, okay? You can say Zhan Hei Fu Kong, the energy breathing. 515, okay? Remember, you breathe in 5 seconds, hold 1 second, and out 5 seconds, okay? Now the second, please do not use a timer to time your second, okay? You, you count the second in your heart your mind. It counts by your heart. Your one second and my one second is not the same. Okay? So when your heart count, one, two, or your heart count, one, two, three, four, it's fine. Okay? You are you. Be yourself. We do not use the clock to measure our body one second. We use our heart itself to measure one second. You count inside. How fast can you count is how fast is that one second is, okay? So everyone's counting is different. It's personal, okay? Now, remember, we have two worlds. One is inside. Now, how to see the inside world of yourself? Close your eyes. Okay? It's black. You don't see anything. But that is the inside stage, okay? When we look outside, we open the eyes and we see outside, okay? The inside world of yourself. The outside world of your, of us. Okay. Um, another thing is... Uh, one more thing. We have a saying in Qigong, or uh, Heigong, called Sheng Muk Sui Lim. A lot of people don't understand this word, uh, and they think that it means to close the eyes. It's not. Okay. Look forward first. Okay. Now... Get your eyes, roll down, okay, straight down to here. And then to here, okay, to here. This this pressure point, right, in the center of here, okay? This is the yang, zhong yu. Now you go like that and like this. While you do that, you, you your eyes automatically, the eyelids relax, right? It relax. Your, your um, black, little black thing, Right down and into the center. Okay? Do not close your eyes. Do not close, okay? Let your eyes go like that and then just have it like this. Do not close the lid. Okay? Don't even try to close it. Keep it open. Now, at that stage, this is called Sung Muk Lim. What it means is like the two eyes are with curtain down. Okay? Curtain down doesn't mean to shut the window. <laughs> okay? Lean. It's like a curtain. The curtain is not all the way shut. Okay? This is like there's a hanging there. Very relaxed. Hanging there. Okay? Now, another thing is to... What you're doing like this. Okay? Your, your eyeball. The black. Okay? Black. Remember? White and black. We talk about that in uh, another video. About the uh, energy property. The first thing you learn is white energy property is it burns itself to output okay white contains everything and that is why it doesn't need to intake anymore so white is a fully exposing uh power fully exposing kind of stuff okay so white always just like that black sucks in because black doesn't have or anything so it sucks in the white okay so black is the opposite of white. 
white go and go out black go like that and 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 it, it just absorb okay so when we are like this looking around our eyes the little black thing is facing forward to this direction okay a circle like this okay so what you're doing is you are non-stop absorbing okay absorbing the light around you the light the, the the white light around you absorb right so if i am doing my cultivation and my eyes is like that pointing forward wide open what you're doing is you're non-stop absorbing the post heaven energy from here this world you're absorbing the light and you're not letting the light go into you okay now if i want my post heaven body to absorb it the, the light to go down i need to look down where you look okay how you look where your eye eyeball goes will tell the energy from this part of the energy body to go or here or out okay this one go backward okay roll back to the pre-heaven this one go down and this one go out you see so you need to understand how to focus the eyes in order to to make energy work the way it should be okay um okay so first of all let's get into the cultivation okay long talk already first thing you want to do number one is to sit down in front of your altar if you don't have a stable altar yet you can do this in front of your mobile altar as well what you want to do is first um relax yourself and then do your sun coup, okay the, for the heart spells like that but for the last part don't shoot it out okay for the last part you go like that right and then usually we end here and then we shoot right here you go backward pointing toward yourself and go like this okay okay like that and then maybe the ne next one mm -hmm. like this okay you have to go back down and up like that okay now of course uh the second stage you have more heart spells to do right so you keep doing like this okay so you keep going like that okay anyway so basically all the heart spells uh, I didn't say the spell, but I just demonstrate the movement for your your reference, okay? So after you're done with everything, hold this hand sign and combine. Okay, Ching Jing Ji. Now recite all the Jing spell, okay? Uh, Jing spell, recite from... Um, let me show you the page. Jing spell, the, the Jing spell right here, okay? Jing Hao, the mouth. Jing Sum, the heart. Jing Sun, the uh, body. Jing Tin Dei, Jing Sam Yip. Jing Tan, Jing Sun Fat. And then skip two. Go to Gam Guang Wu San Zhao, okay? Go to the Golden Light, uh, whatever you call that, okay? Now remember we have the hand sign, okay, in the other video. Like this, okay? And then Gam Guang Wu San Zhao. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, like that. Like that, okay? And done. Okay, you don't stomp your foot, okay? Just recite. After you're done reciting, now we are into the stage of starting uh, to, to do your cultivation, okay? So after we're done, we pull down the hand and go to the lap. Now your, your leg is cross leg, okay? Um, when we're doing this, uh, remember that your your uh, right leg is at the bottom, okay? Bottom. The left leg goes on top of the other leg. Okay. Now your hand. The hand, okay? Your thumb touches the second finger like this. And then the other three must touch you cannot just relax and let go like that okay 
touch, always touch. Okay, touch. If you relax like this, it is going to do something else. Okay, so touch. Put it on the lap, okay, on the lap like this. And now we will be doing your, uh, starting to do the breathing, okay? Now your eyes, okay, like that. It, it might let you feel kind of numb, okay, right here. And then we will be doing the uh, breathing. Oh, by the way, I forgot to uh, mention, you should be having your uh, uh, towel rope on as well, okay? So not the magic rope, but your towel rope. Or you can also use the magic rope, it doesn't matter. Um, it depends what you have, okay? It, the theory is if the more you have, the more stuff you can get, right? So if you use the uh, towel rope and uh, the magic rope together, it's better. Now it depends, right? So if you're using the altar, you use the magic rope. Uh, if you're using the altar or uh, maybe mobile altar, you may want to have your uh, towel ropes on you, okay? Now having the ropes on you make this better, okay? Because your body is more connected to whatever it's supposed to connect to. Anyway, let's go. So what we want to do is use the nose, okay? Keep the back straight, use the nose to, to suck in five seconds of air. When you're doing that, expand the chest, okay? You want to get air all the way in and, and here, okay? Right here, hold one second. And then all the way down, okay? Right here, and then push at the back, push forward, and then expand this five seconds, hold five seconds, one, two, three, four, five, okay? And then we'll relax and suck in, and then expand again. Hold one second, down and out, okay? Tummy out, five seconds. Now the, the, the cycle of this, okay, remember, your tongue, when you are getting things in, your tongue touch the top part of the roof inside. When you're pushing it down, your tongue touch the bottom, okay? Bottom. And then when you suck in again, your tongue go inside, up again, okay? Now, your, your, uh, the cycle, okay, of how it goes should be like this. Now, I'm like this, right? Go in, okay? Now, go in and you feel this part like this, right? And then go down. And then lower part pumps up. And then it goes again. Like this. Okay? So, uh, you do a few of these right here, okay, the breathing. While we're doing it, try to count with your heart. Do not open the mouth. Do not get distracted. Do not open your eyes and look around, okay? But do not close the eyes too. What you're doing is you're taking pre-heaven energy, okay, out of your, outside of your body. Take it. And then it will go into your body. When it goes into your body, you will put all these things at your flat sum level, your energy heart. Okay? Hold one second so that it will connect and flip to the other side. Now what, what you're doing is now five seconds down, okay, is to push it, push it, push it, and then ponder it. What, what happened is later on, after that is done, okay, energy si circulate out of your, uh, your, your waist right here, okay, circulate back out and it will go to the surface and then it will flow from the surface and down to your hand, okay. Now your hand, when you hold like this, your hand right here get hot too, okay, a bit of warmth. Now your hand hold all that energy. At the end, when we're done, okay, 
we relax the finger like this, but you keep it like that, okay? Keep it like that. Now you relax and then bring up the palm, okay? And then you put it right over here and tube it over yourself. Now, remember the eyes, okay? When we're here, your eyes go up and center. And then we close the eyes already, okay? Close the eyes, right here, close. Now we're inside ourselves. The energy is inside, okay? And then we press it back down. Hold one second, press down five seconds. Now because your eyes is closed, you're pressing all the energy into the inside of yourself right here, okay? Now we're done, and then at the end, we'll put the left hand right here. This spot is at the belly button, okay? And then the other hand go on top. Locking this one, locking at this location, okay? And then do a few breathings, focus on here, okay? Do a few, few breathings, and then relax, and you can slowly open your eyes again, and basically that how it's done. Now, before we do all these things, you must understand that uh, you have to um, connect to something, right? So you must do the sun coup. And other thing is, we always do this uh, for hay, to consume chi, in order to lean hay, to cultivate chi. So how do you consume chi? Very simple. In your Cultivation that you learn when you just ordain, right? You have this fu tao, fu head. This fu tao, right? You draw the fu tao into a fu. You take it, right? You you get it ready, power it, activate it. And then later on, you burn it into a bowl. And then you add water, you drink. That is the, the process of how to make essence turn into energy. Energy go into yourself. Now, this whole Sitting cultivation, convert the energy to power. The power get absorbed and go back to your pre heaven body. Basically, that is the few step of what Hei Gong is doing. Lin Jing Fa Hei, convert essence to Qi, and then Lin Hei uh, Fa Sun to convert energy, the Qi, to power, and then Lin Sun Wan Hui to make power go back to pre heaven to yourself to for potential use. That's what we're doing, right? Look, first of all, you, you have done a lot of things to this piece of yellow paper that contains all your energy, the magic power. You burn it. The, all the energy inside releases. Just like, okay, I have a balloon. I pop it. All the air comes out. Very simple, right? Now I pop this food hole into a bowl. All the energy comes down into the bowl. At water, energy stays. I drink it, energy go into myself. I do exercise, rum, 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 blend it, and now energy turn into power. And then I put the power inside myself into the pre-heaven again, and then put it into my power plant. And then when I go to sleep and other things, it absorbs. See? So the power goes back to yourself and then get absorbed by the pre-heaven body, the, the energy body of you. Basically, that's what you're doing, okay? Now, if you don't do uh, food consumption, you don't do the sun cut and all that stuff, you have, it's like you're trying to work a blender by putting nothing inside the blender. So it's not going to do you any good, okay? You must always remember to consume things before you do exercise, okay? So for this kind of stuff, consume a food tao, okay? Or maybe after you, you consume your Tai Chi food and that kind of stuff, then you do this kind of practice to to exercise the stuff around. And then you get your your potential growth. Okay? So basically that's uh, my 101 to the Loi Tan, the sitting cultivation. Um, the breathing seconds and stuff is related to the theory of what we call the theory of nine. So you'll learn later on in the future with uh, more understanding of the pattern and how it works. But basically today you get the idea and you can get started ready. This uh, cultivation, I would say uh, the stage two disciple will be good to go. 
Stage one, well, maybe you're still too weak to do this, but um, I suggest the stage one disciple to um, do more full tao consumption and the yap tao gong and stuff like that first. And then if you really want to give it a try, well, you can, but it uh, uh, it's better if you're in stage two when you can do all the heart spells and more stuff before you actually exercise. Anyway, so that's it for today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.